हरि ओम तत्सत इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर ट्रैवलिंग टुवर्ड्स स्पिरिटुअलिज्म व्हेन योर हाउस इज ऑन फायर हाउ डेरिंगली यू एंटर इनटू द हाउस टू टेक योर चाइल्ड हु इज स्लीपिंग इन दैट रूम इवन सो यू मस्ट बी वेरी करेजियस व्हेन यू ट्रीट द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ you must be absolutely fearless you must not have the least attachment to your body then only you will have self realization quickly timid people are absolutely unfit for the spiritual line if there are mangoes on the top of a big tree you do not jump all at once to the plunk them it is impossible you gradually climb up the tree by getting hold of different branches and then reach the top of the tree even so you cannot jump all at once to the summit of the spiritual ladder you will have to place your foot with caution in each rung of the ladder you will have to practice yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana and dhyana then only you will reach the highest rung of the ladder of a yoga samadhi if you are a student of vedanta you will have to equip yourself with the four means first then you will have to do shravana manana and nididhyasa then only you will attain brahma satkhatkara if you are a student of bhakti yoga you will have to practice the nine mode of bhakti shravana kirtana smarana pada sevana archana vandana dasya sakya and atma nivedana then only you will attain the state of a para bhakti if the chicken and fowls run hither and thither to eat various sorts of the rubbish what does the owner of the poultry do he gives a slight tap on their heads and throws before them some grains to eat gradually they leave their dirty habit of eating filth even so this mind runs thither and hither to eat filthy things and enjoy the five kinds of sensual object give a tap on its head and make it taste gradually the spiritual bliss by practice of japa and meditation a jiva mukta or a bhagavata has lustrous eyes has a prostration on the top of the head and brikuti the space between the two eye brows whatever he says will be indelibly impressed in your mind you cannot forget it till the end of your life he possesses tremendous power of attraction he will clear all your doubts in a marvelous manner you will enjoy a peculiar joy and peace in his presence all your doubts will be cleared in his presence silence is his language he is very compassionate and free from selfishness anger greed egoism lust and pride he is an embodiment of truth peace knowledge and bliss it takes a long time for the charcoal to catch fire but gunpowder can be ignited within the twinkle of an eye even so it takes a long time to igniting the fire of a knowledge for a man whose heart is impure but an aspirant with a great purity of a heart gets knowledge of the self within the twinkling of an eye within the time taken to squeeze a flower by the finger maya is a very huge saw lust anger greed delusion pride jealousy hatred egoism etc are the teeth of his huge saw all worldly minded persons are caught up in the teeth of this saw and are crushed those who are endowed with purity humility love dispassion devotion and enquiry are not hurt they escape through the divine grace they pass smoothly below the sa and reach the other side of immortality 
A piece of ordinary white paper or a colored paper has no value. You throw it away. But if there is the stamp or picture of a king or emperor on the paper, you keep it safe in your money purse or trunk. Even so, an ordinary piece of a stone has no value for you. You throw it away. But if you behold the stone murti of Lord Krishna at Parandur or any other murti in shrines, you bow your head with folded hands because there is the stamp of the Lord in the stone. The deity superimposes on the stone murti, his own beloved and all attributes of the Lord. Image worship is very necessary for beginners. Some sadhakas do constant sadhana in a mild manner. Some do intense sadhana for two hours in the morning and two hours at night. If you want to attain self-realization quickly, you must intense constant sadhana for a protracted period. You may have darshan of the Lord Krishna face to face. You may talk to him also several times. You may play and eat with him. But if you want to have final liberation, you must have Atma Sakshatkara. Namdev had darshan of the Lord Krishna several times and yet he was declared to be a half-baked saint by the porter saint Gora Kuma. He had to go to Vishoba, Kachar for attaining the perfection, Arthayavalya. When you sit on an asana for meditation, you want to get up soon. Not on account of a pain in the legs but on the account of impotence. Conquer this indesirable negative quality by developing patterns gradually. Then you will be able to sit for 3 or 4 hours at a stretch. During meditation, you will be frequently talking to somebody mentally. Stop this evil habit. Have a careful watch over the mind. An aspirant tried to me. Somebody stepped at my door at 3 a.m. I woke up and opened the door. I saw Lord Krishna with crown on his head. He disappeared soon. I went through the lane in search of him. I was not able to find him. Then I came back to my house and sat in front of my door till daybreak to see him again. Cases of samanulites or sleepwalkers are not uncommon. They dream even while standing and walking also. The above case might have been a pure case of a sannabulism. You will have to be very careful in ascertaining the true nature of your spiritual experience whether it is a dream or an actual reality. Darshan of a Lord Krishna is not so very cheap. Aspirants very often make mistakes in the beginning. Just as you remove at once a pebble in your shoe to trouble you, so also you must be able to remove any tormenting thought from your mind at once. Then only you have gained sufficient strength and control of thought. Then only you have attained some real progress in the spiritual path. An aspirant say, I am able to meditate on one asana for three hours. In the end, I become senseless, but I do not fall down to the ground. If there is real meditation, you will never become senseless. You will experience perfect awareness. This is a negative, undesirable mental state. You will have to get over this state by keeping up perfect vigilance. Suppose the mind runs outside during meditation 40 times within one hour. If we can make it run only 38 times, it is decided a great improvement. You have gained some control over the mind. It demands strenuous practice for a long time to check the mind wandering. Vikshepa is very powerful, but Sattva is more powerful than Vikshepa. Increase your Sattva. You can very easily control this oscillation of the mind. When there is a deep concentration, you will experience great joy and spiritual intoxication. You will forget the body and the surroundings. All the prana will be taken up to your head. If you find it difficult to concentrate your mind within a room, come outside and sit in an open place or terrace or by the side of the river or in a quiet corner of a garden. You will have good concentration. When you are lying down in your bed, sometimes a big light will pass through your forehead. As soon as you try to behold the light by meditation on the sitting posture, 
it may disappear. You may ask, how is it that I fail to catch the light by exertion, whereas it comes it by itself when I am lying down without any effort? The reason is you lost the concentration as you set for meditation by entering up rajas with the idea of I am doing. Find out your center. Dwell always in the center. This center is Atma or the immortal soul. This center is the garden of Eden. This is your original abode. This is the Param Dharma. You can be above care, worry and fear now. How sweet is this home wherein there is eternal sunshine and perennial joy. Oh friend, wake up, sleep no more, meditate. It is a Brahma Murta now. Open the gate of the temple of the Lord in your heart with the key of love. Hear the music of the soul. Sing the song of Prema to your beloved. Play the melody of the infinite. Melt your mind in his contemplation. Unite with him. Immerse yourself in the ocean of a love and bliss. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.